of the opportunity. You can start with the Maharaj. Okay. Mukam karoti bhaachalam pangham langhayate giri Jatki paasam aham bande si guru dinatarinam Oma jnana timirandasya jnanam jnana salakaya Chakshuran militam jaina Tasme Sri Gurave Namaha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Sarudamadara Swami Kilamini Namo Sadhvakta Mani Manipur Dhavayacha Prabhupada Siddhavani Prachara Niratayati Pujya Sivar Vargavandita Mahabhava Naita Sada Prabhupada Parampara Patalita Pracha Pumuta Kitehe Bhakti Renir Mala Nijarasa Nivritam Samrakakam Sadhan Bande Sri Guru Deva Nata Siracha Arja Varjan Nijam Guru Avishta Suparakam Guru Ganeira Asisa Sambhur Sitam Chinta Chinta Samasveda Nipunam Tirupa Pantanugam Govinda Vida Mujjalam Varatanam Bhaktanitam Sundaram Bande Vishra Gurum Chadidva Bhagwa Tremna Yibhija Pradam Adana Pantra Guru Nam Guru Nam Bhagavata Atulam Vyasa Jagat Guru Natva Tata Jaya Mujirai Vindaya Tulsi Devyaya Priyaya Kesavatra Krishna Bhakti Pada Devi Satya Bhakti Inama Namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adhita Gadadha Siva Sadhu Sigovar Vatta Vila Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Our humble Dhanva Pranam to all the devotees, to all the Vaishnavas. So our humble Dhanva Pranam to Om Vishwabha Chila Bhakti Niska Mashanta Maharaj. On Monday we were very fortunate to be part of the inauguration ceremony and it was no doubt a very glorious one. And the devotees, some of the devotees did not get a chance to offer their words of honor. So we thought that in today's session, we will actually uh, give all the devotees a chance to say some words in honor. So now I will hand over to Kanupriya Devi. Yes. Thank you, Maharaj. And so on behalf of all of the devotees, we would like to uh, offer you some flowers, if you can see this. So we're offering behalf of all the devotees. Om Magyana Timinam Dasya Kyana Jana Kalakaya Takshom Militan Nina Tashmai Si Guru Vaina Maha Si Bhakta Nishka Chanta Maharaj Ki Jai Jai So the lotus feet of the spiritual master is the abode of pure devotional service. And by your mercy, Maharaj, you can open our inner eye and rescue us from the darkness of ignorance and bring us to the transcendental service plane. And I pray, Maharaj, that um, by your grace, you, um, I can continue to serve in some capacity to yourself and to the Vaishnavas and, and the devotees with their love and affection. And uh, I just wanted to say just a few words of just my remembrance of you and coming to the UK and how enthusiastic you were to preach and engage all of us in preaching and glorifying Acharya Maharaj. And it was really refreshing to have that actually, to have your association and have that enthusiasm. Um, I remember seeing the pictures of you coming over on the plane the bit on Facebook where you're coming to do the scientific preaching there, you did a conference. Um, and I was really disappointed that I wasn't able to go and I sent a message and you immediately phoned I think with my Yogi Maharaj and you phoned and said oh you know Didi if you can arrange a, 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 a program we will come and I was like wow you know this is amazing so and I don't know if you remember the Canterbury trip that you had and I arranged a, we had a nice program in Canterbury with some local devotees Leela Sundry and a few other devotees there and Jill um, and it was really wonderful to have your association and your encouragement and, like I said, enthusiasm to, um, to preach. Because I think it's like, you know, you feel, you're always feeling that you don't know enough or we don't have that capacity to do that. You know, we're not, we don't have any real qualification to speak on these things. And, but with your mercy and your guidance, um, We've been able to do that in some small way and um, just, you know, with the programs and the online programs that we've been doing. So, and that you've been doing, Maharaj. I think, you know, I've learned so much from you um, over the years, like really so much. And 
just look forward to continuing and hearing you and having your guidance and your mercy, Maura. So uh, my humble dhanavat pranams and Sancha Prabhupada Guru Vasya Prabhas in the way you tell us we still have to have your way. Shall we do it in the morning? Joy, Kanupriya did the key. I remember Kanupriya when I went to Kantiburi. There was a big Sankirtan. They were all waiting. Huh? Big Sankirtan. I remember. <laughs> I still remember. That was very beautiful, actually. That Sankirtan, I liked it. And also the fish was so wonderful there. I had a very nice fish. I think Kanupriya also prepared something. Uh, many varieties of, you know, preparations. <laughs> and I think we had a long journey yeah, by train. Mahajogi Maharaj took us from there, London. And then I invited her to come to India and she came. Very lucky after, right? Lucky after that, you came. Yes, Maharaj, I was going to say that was amazing, you know, so sweet because, um, you know, it's not much encouragement uh, to go in, in, in London, but you just I remember you phoning, Didi, come, come. <laughs> just like I'm getting on a bus, you know, just come. <laughs> you made it sound so easy, okay. <laughs> 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 I want to go. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it was really, really lovely. I really so appreciate Maharaj um, those invitations because I I had that great opportunity to um, be on those current panels with uh, Chai Maharaj. Um, so I'm totally indebted to you. Really. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm also very fortunate, Didi, to have you know association of sincere devotees like a good self. Only few. Uh, sincere souls, uh, they are sufficient uh, to help this world to spread proper consciousness. Uh, we don't need so many, you know, one moon, one sun is sufficient to give the light to the entire uh, uh, that world giving light. Huh? The many stars are not working. So only few, uh, Durlava, Sudurlava, Samatma Sudurlava, very rare. So if you can maintain proper mood, and try to, you know, reach proper conception. That will be wonderful, you know. Some great thing will happen in this world. I'm very fortunate to have your association also, Didi. I don't know what to do. Thank you for that, Didi. My um, humble Dandava pranams of the Lotus Feet of Om Vishnu Maharaj, Shila Bhakti Niskam Vashanta Maharaj. It is by the grace of my Divine Masters, Om Vishnupad, Shila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Gosai Maharaj, and my beloved Gurudev, Om Vishnupad, Shila Bhakti Nirmal, Achaja Gosai Maharaj. It is by their grace that I have come to the lotus feet of Shila Bhakti Niskama Shanta Maharaj. And it is also by the grace of the Lordship, Shishnitai Gaurahari, and the affectionate blessings of our Guru Varga that uh, Shila Shanta Maharaj has been bestowed with this very special position of the Acharya of our glorious mission. The inauguration of an Acharya is not any ordinary ceremony, uh, it is transcendental because it has been ordained by the Lord himself. And we consider ourselves very fortunate that we were witness to this glorious occasion. Um, we've seen over the years how much Srila Shantam Maharaj has assisted Srila Acharya Dev in his preaching. And through his preaching, he brought so many sincere seekers to the lotus feet of Srila Acharya Dev. And uh, Maharaj, your vast knowledge of Shastra, your genuine understanding of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's conception, your ability to preach this conception in different languages, to learned devotees and sincere seekers around the world. This has been pleasing to the hearts of our illustrious gurus and appreciated by many devotees worldwide. Uh, Srila Acharya was very happy that I was taking your association, Maharaj. He told me that you are a very good preacher and there's so much that I can learn from you. Um, you have helped me to make progress in my Krishna consciousness. Um, uh, and uh, I always appreciate those very uh, wonderful moments of association that we had, especially uh, Gora Purnima last year. It was really special for me being there with you, listening to you, and assisting you in your service to Srila Acharya Dev. It was really amazing. I always treasure that. And uh, also the many Zoom sessions uh, that you presented, Maharaj. I learned so much from you. So. And I know there's so much more that I can learn from you. So um, I always consider myself very fallen and insignificant. And I'm always grateful for your association. And always, always wishing you all the best in your spiritual journey, Maharaj. I don't have a pronoun. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Ja, 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 the carpet proper uh, for the Gaur Purnima. And he was assisting me. And I was, I was doing some supervision and uh, he was doing all the work. Very nice. And uh, I think it came out very nice. Huh? And then uh, yeah. Yeah. all the uh, tapes and everything came out very nice. And I put some mats also in between to fill the gaps. <laughs> <laughs> so we were improvising with whatever we had, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was nice. And, really nice. and also I seen actually when this pandemic started and I thought, you know, oh, we are sitting in the room and I was not doing so much, you know, online because I was always traveling and doing yeah. some programs and then all of a sudden the new situation came. Then I started doing some live programs on Facebook uh, to, you know, what it comes to my own good. But uh, Krishna Kinkar, he started joining, you know, very seriously. <laughs> and also, Krishna Nandini was very enthusiastic. She used to arrange some you know, online programs always at South African devotees. And uh, very nice program. I was always uh, touched by your you know, sincerity and uh, you know, your simplicity. It's very important to maintain. Thank you. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> Okay, so we can maybe uh, ask, maybe Uma Didi would like to say a few words. Sanava Didi. Nana Pranam Prabhu. I am unqualified to speak about Shant Maharaj. <laughs> because of Shant Maharaj, I got the initiation from Acharya Maharaj. And um, Shant Maharaj, because of Shant Maharaj, you know, we don't know SES much in uh, South India, in Mysore. Uh, Shant Maharaj came and uh, preached and uh, gave some initiation, some devotee uh, initiation from Acharya Maharaj. And uh, he's become a guru in our mat. I'm very, very happy. Only that one I can say, Maharaj. I don't know anything. I'm unqualified. I'm very happy to say it. In our mat, Shant Maharaj has become guru. <laughs> Then what for now? Thank you. Uma Didi, I think Muni Maharaj and myself met in London. Huh? <laughs> she was uh, coming to our mat in London and somehow she wanted to take initiation, but she was being not allowed to take initiation. You know? She was being always denied, suppressed. Then when I met her and I came to know, oh, why? What is the necessity of, you know, why they are denying in our mat? not introducing to Acharya Maharaj. Then I told, don't worry, I will do that. I will introduce you. And then she, she you know, was listening what I said. And then I introduced her to Acharya Maharaj and he was very happy and he wanted to give her initiation. And then when her initiation ceremony happened, one of the leader of that place given me one hour lecture. Why I get her initiated from from Acharya Maharaj. She still have to do this, love to do that, this, and you know, she has to follow this counseling or whatever, and all these things, you know, came up. And I, I also listened to him and gave him honor to him. I am not having any problem. But uh, I, I thought that she was very sincere and she was practicing. And I see that. And Acharya Maharaj was also very happy with her. So this, she and Kanupriya came. Uh, I think during Gaur Purnima or which time? Gaur Purnima, right? And they were talking about yes. yes. And uh, I used to, Acharya Maharaj used to call her also in some programs. Huh? <laughs> How is she? Huh? She used to ask her also. Very happy. Her name was, what is that? Parvati Amma. Parvati, huh? Parvati, right? Mahadev. Mahadev, 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 Mahadev. And he given surprisingly, he, he don't know her name, but living her name is Uma. Uma. Mahadev and Uma. Very nice. 
Maharaj, can you explain her name a little more? Uma. Uma is the wife of Lord Shiva. Her name was Mahadev Minsiva. Mahadev Minsiva. Then, <laughs> Acharya Maharaj not knowing her name was Mahadeva. I told her name will be Uma Devi. <laughs> he told like. <laughs> <laughs> Dhruvananda Prabhu, Dandava, Tamil Sindhu, Dandava. How was your operation, Dhruvananda? Dhanas Maharaj, I am fine, I am recovering now. Okay. So, there were some issues they found. And still? Uh, huh? Still? Yes, I've still got yeah, one issue which I need to sort out, but the major one they fixed on Friday. Okay. So, just resting now for a week. Yes. We are very happy, Prabhu. I was very concerned about you. Yes, Maharaj. No, it's I, 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 I remember when I went, uh, you know, under the, I, I had, uh, I told the surgeon, can I please listen to the japa <laughs> while you're performing? And I, and I said, and I thought of my gurus and I closed my eyes. I said, whatever the will is, it's let it be. No, no, no need to be worried or scared or anything like that. Mm. So it was, it all went well. And, uh, you know, they had their blockages. They clean, cleared the blockages in my arteries. Uh, and, uh, yeah, now I'm just feeling very tired and weak, you know, for uh, because it's only on Friday it happened. But, yeah, I'm, all, I'm on my own my way to recovery, Maharaj. <laughs> Thank yes, you. Yes, we all, we all praying and I'm requesting all devotees. Thank you, Maharaj. I know. I just I was so quickly recovered. Yes, yes. I think I called you for something else that day, you know. <laughs> and uh, and then you asked me, and I said, "Well, it's such a nice coincidence uh, that I spoke to you as well just the day before." So it was very, very nice. But yeah. yes, Maharaj, it was all good. Yes. And uh, now with everything. In the past week, everything has gone very, I mean, even with our mutt, everything is gone nicely. It's all the mercy of our gurus and Lord Krishna. And uh, everything will be go. Uh, everything is happening according to his Maharaj. So I'm very happy and I'm very pleased. Very nice. Bro. Please take care, okay? Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Devananda Prabhu. Like By the way, you? can I just say one thing? Sorry for the yes, sorry, sorry, I think yes, me sorry. also. Maharaj, Shantara, Maharaj, did you, do you remember you met me at the West London Mart? Do you remember? Yes, yes. yes and uh, we were talking and uh, you said to me, so you're not taking initiation? I said, no, 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 I'm thinking about it. He says, what do you mean thinking about it? I'll arrange. <laughs> 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 and, and I think I like, when I think back, uh, on your that inspiration or that mood of yours, that why you want to waste time, you know, just just do it. <laughs> I remember that day very well when you said, "I'll arrange, don't worry." <laughs> so, and before I know it, I got initiated. I didn't even know, <laughs> so <laughs> that was good. And I I seriously thought I was very unqualified. I'll be very honest with you. I thought I was not ready for this kind of initiation because even to get, you know, like you say. You, you before you get into a school or university, you have to be qualified, right? Although initiation is the first step, and I always felt that I was not ready even for the qualification initiation, Maharaj. Really do, and I still feel so at times. But thank you very much for that. <laughs> you know that you are not qualified, that means you are qualified. That means you know what is the qualification, right? You know that much. What is the qualification? Shri Govind Maharaj said, if you, you are knowing that you are not qualified, then you know what is qualification. That is the qualification. <laughs> he said. <laughs> huh? Yes, Maharaj. <laughs> right. Thank you, Devananda Prabhu. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll hand over now to Rila Sundari Didi. Dandavats, Pramnams, my humble obeisance and glories to Shri Guru and Shri Shukaranga and to all Vaishnavas. Um, I feel inadequate to speak at the moment, <laughs> um, like um, some of us, um, but I do have one memory. Well, I have lots of memories, but one particular memory was um, 
we'd uh, left Puri Dam in 2019 after the Jagannath Festival, and we, had hundreds of devotees, boarded coaches, and we ended up at a train station, and we were all clambering over everyone to get on to the trains and everything, and can you prayer and myself, we were very fortunate to share the same carriage section as yourself and Acharya Maharaj and there was so much commotion and it was still quite stressful for a westerner anyway well for myself at the time and I just recall this moment and you came and sat with us and like today you were full of joy and laughter and jokes and you I can't remember the story you told us but you gave a story and it was so funny and we were just laughing and I just remember the joyfulness um, that you shared and I just feel really humbled to be in your presence and I feel quite inadequate and I was happy to share your moment the other day. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but, um, thank you anyway. Yeah, I, I have got nothing else to say. <laughs> Please make a plan to come to India again, La Sundari. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I was so overjoyed when um, I got the message uh, Sunday evening, and uh, I don't think I was, I'm quite over it still. <laughs> anyway, um, um, uh, yeah, there you go. That's all I've got to say, really. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> You're very fortunate to have a good friend like Anupriya. Very nice. I, I am. I am, <laughs> yes. <laughs> very nice. Uh, thank you very much, Lila Sandri Didi. Thank you for that. And uh, Sorry. Uh, Krishanandini Didi, you would like to offer some few words? Sorry, Didi, you are mute. Seems to mute, right? mute. <laughs> you have some very divine message that nobody else can hear. I just, I, I just <laughs> done a few points so that I just don't forget what I need to say. Okay. Um, Om Gyana Chimirandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakchur Umni Tamyena Tasmi Sri Guru Venama. My humble Dandavat Pranams to everyone. I am not qualified, but will try to say a few words in honor of Srila Shanta Maharaj. We are always grateful for your guidance and support over the years, always encouraging us and keeping us engaged in some service. The thing that stands out for me is Srila Shanta Maharaj's dedication to continue to serve Sri Guru and Sri Goranga and protect our mission and Mahaprabhu's conception, irrespective of the many obstacles and situations he has experienced. Sometimes devotees tend to judge and misunderstand his actions, seeing it as harsh, but Maharaj does not deviate from the truth and he exposes the misconceptions. You have much love for Srila Charidev and the devotees and want what is best for the mission. Srila Gurudev said, wait and see. After Srila Charidev left, we waited and watched. And so much has transpired during this time. Through the mercy of our Guru Varga, this experience has opened up our eyes to a whole new world of higher spiritual understanding. Srila Guru Maharaj is saying in Sri Guru and His Grace, if we are to enter into the land of eternal prospect, then we must learn to see that all are our Guru and we are servants. In that plane, we shall imbibe help from everywhere. Their benediction and their grace will come from everywhere. They are all well wishers, all guardians. They all guide us towards the highest attainment of our fortune. There cannot be any objection to that. Jai Sri Bhakti Ms. Kampal Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Thank you. Jai Krishnandani Didi Ki Jai. Thank you very much, Didi. Yes. Very, Didi, you know, very 
since here she started with Kanopriya this cooking class. <laughs> I don't know, personally it has been truncated. Huh? In between something else came up, all these things. And <laughs> cooking class has been uh, stopped, but the study, you know, sessions are started, it's good. Yes, you can also do sometimes so cooking sessions, no problem. You can again you know, do that. It's not good, not 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 a problem. You can you can have it. Preparations. <laughs> I I I told that to Radha, Singapore devotees, huh? Rajesh, sorry, but they could never be able to do. <laughs> but you could do it very nicely. That's very nice. Yes, Maharaj, you motivated us. <laughs> and uh, Kanapriya and I got together and yeah, yeah. We, we had some nice, wonderful sessions. Yes. I was and studying I... today in the, in the evening class to the devotees. We are offering all these things to Krishna, potato mm -hmm. and then cabbage and cauliflower. Uh, they are completely, uh, they are, uh, you know, self is, you know, eliminated, uh, absorbed in another self. Huh? The satisfaction of another self. So mm -hmm. uh, they are engaged in service. So I'm telling, what about us? When we will be like that, you know, we completely forget about our own self mm, for satisfaction of Lord and his devotees. Mm. So Siddhar Maharaj used to say about self-forgetfulness. Mm. Devotion means self-forgetfulness. When we forget ourselves, uh, for satisfaction mm -hmm. of something higher, we have to forget our own self. Mm. So that when will manifest, yeah? not just, you know, we do that with potato and, you know, cabbage, but when we will offer ourselves. Vali Maharaj offered so many things to mm -hmm. Bamande. Bamande told, I'm not satisfied yet. I need you. <laughs> what about you? I need you. You have to give yourself to me. Mm -hmm. So Krishna wants us not just our things. So we have to give ourselves. So that is very nice. So we can practice that. Self-forgetfulness. And in 2016, Maharaj, you were there in the room. Yes. With um, me when we, I took second initiation, but you one might not remember. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was there so many. I don't, I may not be remembering, but I I, I, I know that uh, you all were there, but maybe you were taken in so many people were taking new sessions. Huh? Yes, so. they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It was nice. My my misfortune that I don't I not remembering. <laughs> there were too many devotees they were taking first yeah. and second in the day, 2016. Yes, it was, yes. It was so busy the whole day, I remember. Yeah. Yes. A glorious festival. Very nice. <laughs> Any of the other devotees? Uh, we have Amir Sindhu Prabhu online as well. Maybe he'd like to share a few of his words. Sandavas Prabhu? Anyone else? Kevin and uh, Kevin Prabhu, uh, very good to say a few words. A few words. Please do so. Kevin and Girita also want to say to Our humble obedience is to you, Maharaj. Um, we are very new, Maharaj, and we feel very honored to be, uh, to have your association and your knowledge and your guidance, Maharaj. Um, we don't have as many memories as the, most of the devotees, mm -hmm. but we hope that in time we will make many memories with you and even one day take initiation under you. Um, we thank you for being on the Zoom with us and uh, uh, sharing and being uh, and, inspiration. and, yeah, and inspiration having your presence. And uh, maybe one day, hopefully, it will be our mission to come through and, and see you personally. And uh, it's an honor to serve you. And we'll continue being the servants of the servants of the servants. And thank you for all the knowledge that you've given us. and. Uh, for your association in this few months that we've known you and uh, thank you for everything <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much thank you Kevin Prabhu, very good come come to india during god purnima make a plan yes, we'll come one day. We, we, are not afraid. we are not afraid of omicron <laughs> 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 Ha, <laughs> <laughs>
Lord Krishna will protect us and bring us through. Yes. <laughs> yes. You all vaccinated? You all taken vaccine? Yes. Uh, have you taken the vaccine? Yes. 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 Maharaj. Okay. They want us to take another vaccine. Now. It's called a booster vaccine. Okay. Yes. Doesn't yeah. stop. But people are still getting the, the virus, but I think the symptoms are milder. <laughs> yes. Although vaccinated, huh? Mm -hmm. It won't stop. Do you know Madhura, Madhura Krishna? Yes. Uh, yeah. He's <laughs> he there now? He was here in, no, he went back. He was here uh, on uh, Saturday, he came. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very humble devotee, you know. He says, I want to do some cleaning, Maharaj. I want to do some floor cleaning, some room cleaning. And the whole day he was doing cleaning, actually. Today he cleaned my room, <laughs> Muni Maharaj's room, and many rooms here he cleaned, you know. And uh, he always, when he comes, he was always busy in some service, something he wants to do. And also he's helping me design this, you know, Samadhi temple of Acharya Maharaj. Very nice, you know. I think it is coming. I told him some ideas. And very nice it is coming up. I'm praying to Nityananda Prabhu that, uh, you know, everything will manifest gradually. That's my you know, prayer. Mm -hmm. Nityananda Prabhu will help. Devotee, yes. very humble devotee, yes. Wonderful devotee. Yes. So you all also can come and stay here. You're all welcome to come and do some service here. It's very nice. You all can come. If we, if, if we somehow we cannot make it for Gorpurni, maybe we'll try to come for Jagannath festival or maybe okay. another festival later in the year. Okay. So, Without festival, also you come. There's not, not necessary that you will only come during festival. You know, not necessary. <laughs> we are devotees are coming, that is the festival for us. <laughs> I feel like that. I don't, you know, wait for any other festival like that. Devotees came then festival, that is the festival. So come anytime, no problem. Thank you for that, Maharaj. We always keep that in our heart. Yeah. Okay, um, Amya Sindhu Prabhu, Tandavas Prabhu. Can you hear me? He had his video on just now. So. I don't know if he's still there. Tandavat Samiya Sindhu Prabhu. Prabhu Nitta Nandam. Sri Adhaita Vagadhar. Sri Vasati Gauru Bhakta Vedi. Sri Vasati. Dandava Maharaj. Dandava, Abu Sindhu. We are not seeing your face. Oh, Dandava Maharaj. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Dandava Maharaj. Oh, wonderful to see you. You are smiling face. Sorry. Uh, I must try to do this. How do I do this? You have Pantimala uh, with you. Pantimala. I'm listening to Maharaj. Uh, Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, how do yes, I do this? Yeah, I have to yeah, stop. Oh yeah, goodness you me! You too many, one. too many, too many technological. Oh, what am I doing now? <laughs> you have to put it on pause, maybe. Oh, no, no, I'm back again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I fumbled through technology and whatever else, but. Uh, Nevertheless, I have too many apparatus all working at the time between my dog opening the door, my cat coming over the correct thing to bring me uh, aboard as an offering. Oh my goodness, uh, pandemonium. Christmas is happening. I have people calling here there. Daniva Maharaj, it's so wonderful to see your happy, smiling, happy, happy face. Maharaj, I know you have been very, 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 uh, very, 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 very involved in, in, in a lot of work um which is is not only spiritual but also was incredibly physically intensive as well and i uh, i appreciate and understand your absence but i very much appreciate your sharing of your presence on the planet and what what is what you have been doing as well 
because in that way we can keep association with you, Maharaj. Um, uh, as a testimony, may I just simply say one of the most incredible experiences I had was almost a year ago when um, Acharya Maharaj uh, gave me initiation, invited me to take initiation. Um, and um, I remember it was just after uh, Puri Maharaj um, and Shanta Maharaj's uh, incredible, incredible organization of the conference, the Science and Scientists Conference. And um, as I said to Acharya Maharaj um, at the time, that this will live in posterity forever. And posterity is something that is incredibly important to me. Um, and um, I could say that um, I cannot, I, I was talking to uh, Puri Maharaj um, recently and uh, the 28th and the 29th, I think there is a new uh, conference happening as well. I so am hoping, um, to see you there, Shanta Maharaj. Uh, sorry, please, now, um, oh, now, oh, I, now I have a difficulty. See, I'm Irish, so I can, I just go off like that. Uh, but I have to say to you, uh, how may now I, with the rest of the podcasts that I have ready to be published, please may I use your official title, Acharya Maharaj. Is this possible, Maharaj? Acharya Maharaj is Sila Bhakti Nimala Acharya Maharaj. You can use my name. <laughs> okay. Bhakti this Kama Santa is my name. Okay. I understand, Maharaj. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with regard to the podcast and so on, Maharaj, um, uh, I have now just completed the seventh in the Sisastakam uh, series. You have published them? Uh, no, Maharaj, no, because I tell you why, um, I had legal difficulties with regard to some, ah, well, it doesn't matter, details are not a problem, uh, well, we're a problem, but um, I have now been able to internationalize, so to speak, or use the talents of somebody, uh, my daughter-in-law, who's from Peru, uh, and she is going to help me with major... Um, how should I say, uh, worldwide publication, because it was beyond, uh, I'm a sound person, you know, I'm sound, I edit and so on, but with regard to legalities and regard to money, I haven't a clue, I haven't a clue, but technically, certainly, excellence, no problem, but uh, worldwide distribution through uh, iPad, uh, no, no, uh, Apple Store, Apple Store, and various other uh, distribution networks. That uh, it must be much more comprehensively, uh, how should I say, copyrighted to Saraswati Map. So it's not just a case of just simply just uh, making all these publications and podcasts available, but there should be an infrastructure available also that guarantees the copyright uh that you own um and also uh because that <clears throat> within each podcast there is a myriad of references which you make um and because it was public and because there were people talking and interacting and so on all of this has to go to make a podcast just listenable as to what you were actually saying during the podcast of this has to come and therefore uh, for, for for you know anyway I, I don't need to give examples but what I really try to say to you is that the, uh, it's so big it's so dynamic and it is so I I, I do not have I have not had the uh, infrastructure which I believe I now have in place to allow this now to be publicized and offered to iTunes without any problems with regard to religious bias or political bias or blah, blah, woof, woof, as Jimmy Hendricks used to say. 
But anyway, um, you, can, you can share your podcast, whatever you are publishing with devotees, so they can, you know, uh, I'm happy to listen. And some of the uh, podcasts, if uh, you can find out, uh, you know, uh, Krishna Nandini and Kano Priyadidi, you can, uh, you know, put his service, Amir Sindhu's service in our website. He's uh, working very hard on those. Some of the suitable, you know, podcasts can be placed there. He very much hard on that for many months. Huh? He's always calling me. <laughs> I'm not able to spend time on those things, but you can you can go through and you can put some of the podcasts, which is proper, on our website. Thank you, Amiya Sindhu Prabhu, and thank you to all the devotees for your wonderful, kind, sweet words of honor. To Mavishpachila Bhaktini Skamashanta Maharaj, we really appreciate that. So, Yes, so I think uh, for the little time that we have left for this uh, Zoom session, let us maybe continue with our review to chapter 14, the transcendental vibration form of the Lord. So, Maharaj, I know you don't have much time. Uh, it's now on your side, um, 10.43 maybe, there, Maharaj, for you? 22, I don't think. Yeah. Yes, 10.43. I can stay yeah. off another 15-20 minutes, no problem. 15-20 minutes, okay. Yeah. So maybe we can just get to those questions that forms the, the crux of this chapter, Transcendental Vibration, and we can maybe just do two questions. And I'm thinking maybe question... Um, two and question three. Okay, let us start with question two, yeah, and whatever we cannot finish, we'll continue uh, next weekend. <clears throat> okay, let's do question two. Okay, Nandavar. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, Vidya Vas presented his ultimate conclusion. Please explain. Veda Vyas. Okay, Kevin Prabhu. Yeah. Nandavar, uh, chant the, holy, the Lord's holy name, trying to satisfy him and his associates. Try to avoid, avoid all connection with the material existence as you practice Harinam Sankirtan. By doing so, you will be freed from all sin and you will, you will reach the supreme, supreme goal of your spiritual life, which is the service to the Lord Sri Krishna in the transcendental world. In this way, Vayavedas ended Srimad Bhagavatam with his final Description and conclusion, Harinam Sankrantan is best for everyone. Hare Krishna. Thank you for that. Hare Krishna. Anyone would like to comment on that or questions? Anybody wants to say anything about that? What is the meaning of uh, Simad Bhagavatam? Maharaj, is it to never forget Krishna and always to remember Krishna? Srimad <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bhagavatam is uh, about, you know, the Supreme Lord, uh, his name, fame, pastimes, his devotees. Mm. That is what is Srimad Bhagavatam. And that is a natural commentary of Vedanta Sutra. Mm. Beda, you know what is the meaning of Beda? Knowledge. Knowledge. And what is Vedanta? Knowledge of the scriptures. Conclusion of that knowledge. Not just you keep on knowing and knowing and knowing endlessly. Uh, knowledge gaining, you know, endlessly. No. What is the conclusion of that knowledge? Then that Vedanta. Uh, we also have given in the course. Huh? So very difficult to understand those quotes. Uh, like it's the first, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, is the first aphorism. Then he says, Janma, that's the second one. So, uh, our Acharyas have explained that Srimad Bhagavatam is the natural commentary of Vedanta Sutra. That means the conclusion of all the you know, Vedas. Uh, that is Vedanta and its natural commentary is Simapatta. 
and you see Srimad Bhagavatam begins with this uh, first sloka has this Vedanta Sutra second verse Janma Dasyata you will find you know first that is there in our logo of Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Institute Janma Dasyata from where everything originated you have to inquire about yourself uh, as who am I? Why am I so suffering in this world? Who made this world? All these questions. But how you begin that inquiry? You have to inquire uh, by inquiring about your origin, Janma's origin. From where everything that you are seeing, the matter, life, everything, from where that originated? Uh, there. Uh, that life comes from life comes. Huh? Uh, life is coming from life and matter is coming from life. And there is first life. Adipurus, in first life. Adipurus. From first life, everything came up. And then, what kind of personality is that person? How we are related to that person? Why we lost the connection with that person? And the persons who relate to him, how they relate to him? What are the different degrees of relationship? All these things you will find in Srimad Bhagavatam. On the name of the second verse of Srimad Bhagavatam says, on the name of so many religions that are spread on this world and cheating you know, things are going on. Koitava dharma. So, devotee means he must be nirmasa. Nirmasarana satam. Satam means devotee. And what is the quality? He is non-envious. What is envy? Envy means who is qualified, who is uh, having a rightful uh, what you can say, uh, that authority over certain things, and he wants to deny that. That is envy. Like Duryodhan. Uh, Duryodhan knows very well that Yudhishthira Maharaj is qualified in all aspects. He is uh, under the name and he is having all the good qualities to be a king and is knowledgeous in the scripture. And yet, he is always plotting something. <laughs> so that uh, they can be you know, denied. That. that is envy, actually. Envy means who is uh, a qualified person for a certain things and he wants to uh, rightful, uh, he has rights on that because of his qualification and he wants to deny that. That is envy. And those who have envy, they cannot proceed in devotion. So quality necessary to become a devotee is non-envious. You can use kama, uh, krodha, lobha, moha, mother. All these things you can use in devotion. Kama, kushna, means the uh, uh, greediness, uh, uh, the lustiness, everything can be engaged in the service of the Lord. <laughs> Anger can be engaged in the service of the Lord by becoming angry on those who are uh, against devotees, envious to devotees. Uh, uh, greediness also for prasadam, harikatha, uh, and attachment to devotee and Lord. Mm. And ego, that I am servant of Guru, servant of uh, Radharani. Yeah? You have ego that you are servant of Guru Radharani and quickly you will get Gokul Krishna. <laughs> that ego is good. Hmm? I think somebody asked to Acharya Maharaj in uh, one Zoom session, and what is the use of ego in devotion? <laughs> then he asked me, that I told this. Huh? Uh, you can see, I think some of the Zoom sessions will be there. Sigraya Milai Gokulam. Bhakti Muthaku says that. You have ego. But you are servant of Radharani. Yeah? You will get quickly Krishna. That is the proper use of ego. Mother, hmm? ma, Masachya. Masachya cannot be used. Hmm? Uh, ego can, uh, that envy, you can't use it. So you have to give up that envy. If you have envy, then you cannot proceed. Huh? There is another line. Uh, you will go, not a proper devotion. Huh? Radharani yes, slide is not non envious slide. Chandravali has that line. Mm. That is not devotion. Huh? Some people may do like that, then they go to that other line. We are not interested in that. That is not devotion. Uh, if somebody is doing good service, I want to do better than that person. That is envy, actually. Uh, Krishna not accepted that. Radharani thinks if somebody is doing good service, and I want to be a servant of that. Person. That is devotion. Not that I will do that. That is self-forgetfulness. Forget about yourself. 
Yes. And uh, see where Krishna is satisfied. Try to uh, put your energy there mm-hmm. by the servant. That will be pleasing to Lord. Mahapurudha is told, servant of servant. He preached Radharani's conception. Ah, mood, servant of servant, not competition. So if you can know this, then you are getting entrance into Bhagavatam. If you know this. Otherwise, you cannot enter into Bhagavatam. Mm-hmm. To enter, you have to be non-envious. First thing is that you understood that Krishna is the origin huh, of everything. Janma Dosito. He is the origin and is Abhigya Swarad. And he is, huh, the first sloka says, he is conscious, not that he is some, some impersonal. He is conscious being and he is supremely independent being. That is Bhagavatam first verse says. And then you, how you can enter into Bhagavatam? Becoming non envious, huh? surrendering on the sadhu. Jao Bhagavata Pado, Vaishnavere Stani, Ekanta Asraya Kora Chaitanya Charan. Go and learn Bhagavatam from a Vaishnav. Hmm? Sarudamadar Goswami is saying, Go and learn Bhagavatam from a Vaishnav and single mindedly uh, put your uh, all uh, focus at the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That means devotees of Mahaprabhu. This is uh, proper. Uh, way of approaching Srimad Bhagavata. We have to approach like that. Proper understanding of Bhagavatam comes from there. Who is speaking Bhagavatam in endless mouths? That is Anantade. Continuously chanting. Still not finished. And we think that we have finished Bhagavatam by a few slokas. No. Endless. Actually. Hari Ananta, Hari Ananta <laughs> is infinite. His, about his glories are also infinite. <laughs> Thank you for that, Maharaj. Anyone else would like to comment or maybe ask any questions regarding that? Okay, then we can go on to the next question. How can we connect with the Lord and progress in our spiritual life through the Lord's holy name? Mirza, I'll try to attempt to answer that. So Shri Gurudev is explaining uh, to give relief to the conditioned soul suffering in the age of Kali's disturbing environment. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mercifully taught everyone how they can connect with the Lord and progress in the spiritual life through the Lord's holy name. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama Eva Kevalam, Kalona Steva Nasteva Nasteva Gatira Nyata. So Mahaprabhu said, you need to leave from the wave of exploitation in this world. And you need to get back your real consciousness of being an eternal servitor of the Lord. So you must chant your Lord's holy name as your primary duty. The age of Kali is like an ocean of faults, an ocean of disturbances, an ocean of challenges to practicing spiritual life. Everything in the age of Kali is covered by Kali's influence, and no one can cross over that influence. Through chanting Krishna's holy name, connecting ourselves with the Lord's transcendental vibration form, we will be able to feel that Krishna is living within our hearts. When we have a connection with the Lord's transcendental form through his holy name, all our inauspiciousness will leave us and everything will be set right. So that's very briefly speaking about how to make connection with the Lord through His holy name, the transcendental sound vibration. And I'd also like to comment on that. Anybody wants to say about that? All are silent, no? Nobody else saying anything. Dandava Krishna Kesava Prabhu. Dandava Pranam Maharaj, Dandava Pranam of devotees. You are in Puri Maharaj's place or in Princeton? Uh, I'm in um, Whiting, not Princeton today. Oh, okay. Mm. <clears throat> what is the connection between Holy Name and Lord? How that connection is established? The Lord is transferring all his potency, all his beauty, all his sweetness, all his power into his holy name. So Sri Harinam is actually non different form from the Lord. Anybody else want to say? 
and say something? Yes. Um, Krishna is absolute, just like as Mahavishnu, he's impregnating the material nature by glancing. So his glance can do the function of a sexual organ in material life. Also, his transcendental name is the same as himself fully. He's absolute. So any part of the absolute is the absolute in full. Anybody else wants to say? There is one sloka is there. <clears throat> Sadhu Sange Krishna Nam Ematra Chai Samsara Jinite Ar Konavastu Nam. So the connection uh, through holy name is uh, coming because of Sadhu actually. Asadhu Sange Bhai Krishna Nam Nai Hoy Nam Akhar Bhai Nam Kavu Nam. In the bad association, there cannot be a holy name. Only a latter name will manifest, but it cannot be named proper. He says like that. So means the name is coming because Sadhu is giving us. Sometimes Sadhu may give us uh, not exactly the name of Lord, like Mora. Mora is not the name of Lord. Huh? <laughs> he told to that uh, murderer, huh? Dasiratna Kuru. You chant Mora, 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 Mora. And he started doing that. Mora, 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 Mora. Then it become Ram, Ram, Ram. Huh? Saying Mora, Mora, become Ram, Ram. Actually. So when we are engaging uh, in something that Sadhu has told us, then that is, that is the way we are connecting with the Lord. So that chanting of the holy name cannot be different than cleaning the dishes or, you know, sweeping the floor or wiping, you know, the floor cannot be different. Is the it's the same thing? Sometimes people they think the holy name is just doing some finger exercise, huh? <laughs> some machine chanting. That is not. And Jagadananda Pandit has told that chanting of the holy name in Prema Bhagavata he says and Ekadasi Namajan and uh, Ekadasi Brat. They are not different. They are same thing. Because both are bhajan under the direction of sadhu. There cannot be any difference there. Hmm? And that song, highest song in our sampradaya, Sirupa Manjari Pada, it also says the same. Sirupa Manjari Pada, say more sampada, say more bhajana pujan, say broth, say top, say more mantra job. Mantra job means chanting of the holy name. What is my chanting of the holy name? means uh, I am a servant. Of uh, that servant of the six Goswamis or Rupa Goswami special. I'm serving. Uh, I want to aspire to serve, and that service is everything for me. Uh, that can be oral chanting of this holy name under his direction. And that can be also writing scripture or preaching or collecting. There cannot be any difference in that. It is the same thing. So we have to see service in that way. There cannot be any difference. Sometimes Krishna's service may come to us to serve his feet uh, when some serving his, uh, you know, uh, head or whatever, hair. Uh, everything we cannot differentiate. Oh, no, I only serve Krishna's head, not the leg. You cannot say like that. All aspects. If you love Krishna, then we have to love all aspects of Krishna. His devotees, his dham. All powerful, everything you have to love. If you love me, love my dog. Sila so, Govind Maharaj used to say that. Huh? No, I love, I love you, but not your dog. It cannot work. That's <laughs> not going to work. Huh? You have to love Krishna, you have to love his devotees. And Krishna also saying that he, he expresses his love uh, through loving his uh, devotees servants. He, he you know, does so many things. To the devotees, you know, belongings. You know? Oh, you did this to my devotee. Oh, you are so great. <laughs> Which I could not do. You could do that. I could not do that. You know, he never expected any service from me. But you could do that. Then I am indebted to you, Krishna says. Oh, you, do, you did that. And I cannot forget. Hmm? You could do something that I could not do even. <laughs> he thinks like that. Hmm? 
So we have to see uh, in, from the service point of view everything. Uh, holy name is also service. Sometimes uh, some people they say, "Oh, I'm chatting, you know, I cannot do this now." Uh, they say, like that. Uh, "But you know, what is that example that disciples of Saraswati Thakur established?" So this discussed many times in our mat. So the disciples of Saraswati Thakur, they were together, and one uh, devotee, one one of the disciple is chanting the holy name on the japa, and then another his god brother told. Prabhu, can you give me that newspaper? I want to read. <laughs> then he given in the left hand. He was chanting in the right hand. Then another uh, his god brother told, "Do you think that your chanting is higher service than to service to the Vaishnav? Hmm? That you are giving him in the left hand?" Then immediately he removed his hands, hand from the zappa bag and offered dandavat and asked forgiveness. <laughs> then he given the newspaper in the right hand. And so, so Thakur also used to say, instead of doing finger exercise, uh, if you can give some water uh, in the garden of Vaishnavas, you know that will be very nice. And so, Siddhar Maharaj also explained that my Guru Maharaj always give an emphasis to service under Vaishnava. Somebody asked him how many rounds? Huh? <laughs> he was asking how many rounds is bona fide? <laughs> he said like that. Then he told that my Guru Maharaj has not given emphasis to rounds. My Guru Maharaj has given emphasis to dedication to the Vaishnav, service under the Vaishnav. That is that is the most important thing. Our connection of service must come through a Vaishnav. The ordinary sound and Vaikuntha sound, the Siddhar Maharaj says, the sound that comes in or uh, Sadhu Sangha, and that is Tanmatra. Mundan. And what Sila Siddha Maharaj says, it must be Vaikuntha sound. You have get connected with the Vaikuntha sound. And that comes in the good association. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Maharaj. Okay. Um, anyone else got any questions regarding that? If not, we can move on to the next question. Uh, the next okay, we can maybe go to the next question. Yeah. Is uh, question number four. What is Krishna's holy name called? Hi, Krishna. Krishna's holy name is called Shabda Brahma in the Vedas. Shabda means sound vibration. But here, Shabda means transcendental vibration, not the vibration we hear with our ears. Brahma means the Lord's full divine conscious form. Thus, Shabda Brahma means the divine vibration form of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. The Lord's holy name is also discussed in the scriptures as Taraka Brahma Nam, the divine vibration form of the Lord, full with his power and mercy, which can rescue the conditioned souls from the lowest level of material existence and reveal the transcendental service world in their hearts. O holy name, you appear in two forms, the name, your divine human-like form, and the name, your divine sound form. We know that your second form is even more merciful than your first. Even one who has committed offenses to the name is immersed in an ocean of constant joy by chanting the name. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Yashoda. Okay. Thank you for the explanation. Anyone would like to comment on that? Or anybody has any questions to ask regarding that? But anybody knows the story of Jajati? You know the story of Jajati? Hmm. Once I think something happened with the Jajati, uh, Vishwamitra became very angry on him. Hmm? And then he told Lord Ram that he must punish Jajati. He must punish Jajati. Then Lord Ram, as uh, you know, uh, actually Jajati is a very great devotee of Lord Ram. And his own family was actually. He, his wife, his children, everybody were very devoted to Lord Ram. And then 
then they came to know that uh, this situation has come up that lord ram has summoned them then they have to be punished and then they were also getting prepared for that but somehow you know i think who came bharat came to take them up huh? <laughs> lord ram's brother bharat came to take them and somehow something happened by lord's you know arrangement some uh, big uh, tornado or something whatever it came and then they all get separated and jajati he came somehow to uh, anjana anjana he the mother of you know, hanuman huh? An- An- anjana right the mother of hanuman is anjana he came there <laughs> then uh, said oh what happened to you what happened and he, he narrated the you know something that uh, he is in danger he not told all the whole thing that i am in some danger uh, maybe i <laughs> i have to be punished to some i must have done something wrong then she immediately told oh you are devotee of lord ram how can some anything wrong can happen to you i am giving the shelter to you nothing wrong will happen telling <laughs> like, i am a great, great son in the hanuman and i am i will tell the hanuman that he will give protection to you <laughs> she told like that oh mother don't tell that don't tell that no 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 my son will give protection to you <laughs> she called immediately to hanuman hanuman then hanuman immediately jumped there <laughs> telling you know you know is that is some danger i devote your lord ram and how can he be in danger you give all protection to him that is oh mother i am promising nothing will happen i will give my life or i will protect Jyoti, but they all don't know that this is happening through Lord Ram, actually. <laughs> and then Jyoti told, "Why are you promising all these things? You know, don't do that. You know, you don't know the whole thing." And Jyoti explains that. Then he says, "One man said, 'I already promised. Then what I will do? I already made the promise.'" And Lord Ram says, "I also given the promise that I will give something to you." then hanuman thinks okay i may sacrifice my life to keep my word to my mother he 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 determined like that and then you know the news came where is jajati now <laughs> hanuman is guarding jajati <laughs> the news came to lord ram that now hanuman is guarding jajati and then what will what they will do now so many soldiers coming from ajodhya one after another and nothing happening to him hanuman is always chanting lord ram sri <laughs> jai ram sri ram jai jai ram he is chanting hmm? <laughs> that nothing is happening to him then finally lord ram comes you know everybody got defeated by hanuman and finally lord ram comes and lord ram has a very special weapon you know nothing defeats that weapon but ram ban they call it ram ban you know special weapon when he leaves that weapon then nothing can defeat that then he saw the release that final weapon that also defeated before before his name before his holy name that uh, he, he is he uh, is showing that my my name is more powerful than you <laughs> lord ram is saying that and then somehow vishwamitra comes there and uh, is he saw and uh, he just that okay i for the jagati for that first time has so shows how powerful he is you know uh, lord's name is that uh, his name is more powerful than him and you see that his devotee uh, lord shows that i am defeated before my devotee or jeet or jeet you can win over the inconquerable if you have the grace of a devotee nobody can win over lord but you can win. you can capture him you can tie him in your heart if you have a grace of a devotee so that is the, that is the main thing essential thing you may do so many tapasyas so many lives you may do so many vratas so many things but that will not be so much satisfying lord but if you can please his body somehow man he is yeah, captured by that Thank you, Brother Maharaj. Yes, wonderful pastime. Anyone else has got any questions regarding that or any comments? Okay, then maybe one more final question. We can do the last question for the day. 
What is the supreme mantra of all ages? Please elaborate. What is the supreme mantra of all ages? Please elaborate. Hmm. Kevin Prabhu, I think we'll attend this one. Yeah. <laughs> According to the Kali Santandran Unipadishad, the Maya Mantra is a mantra for Kali which is the age of our modern time. It is the darkest and most troublesome time of mankind. It is the transcendental vibration form of the Lord. The Lord's Kar 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 Karaka Brahma Nam appears as the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. It is composed of 16 names and 32 symbols, and it is the only means to counteract the evil effects of Kali Yuga. In all the Veda Vedas, it is seen that to cross the ocean of nescence, there is no other alternative to, to the chanting of the Lord's holy names. It is, a, it is both the highest and the most powerful. Only in the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra do we find the Lord Sri Krishna with Srimad Radharani, the powerful with the aesthetic power. Hare Krishna. Thank you for that, Kevin Prabhu. Anybody else would like to comment on that? Any questions regarding that? Maharaj, there's uh, three stages of chanting the Maha Mantra. Can you explain that? Three stages? Hmm. I, don't, I don't know about that three stages. I know the first one is Namabas. Uh -huh. yeah, it's, it's actually Nam Aparad. Nam Aparad, then Namabas, and then Shudanam. <clears throat> I think the most of the confusion comes with the, the middle section, the Namabas. Oh. And when most of the devotees are situated in that. So mm. I think, how do we understand this Dhamma Bhas? Although we're not chanting very purely, at the same time, how can we make progress in our spiritual life? Mm. Although we're not chanting. You know that crocodile? <laughs> you know that crocodile catching the leg of elephant, alligator? Mm. Mm -hmm. He's doing opera, no? Catching the leg of a devotee. And giving pain to a devotee. But uh, Lord is thinking, oh, that alligator catching the leg of a devotee. So I have to give the liberation to that alligator first. See, anyway, whatever, maybe it's intention, but it's somehow it's catching the leg of a devotee. <laughs> so the alligator gets first mm, liberation. Then Gajendra uh, gets that mercy of the Lord. So we may be doing some offense, you know, because uh, when we come to uh, the Guru, Guru gives us shelter and engages in some service. Because we are actually surrendered to Guru, those offenses are ignored actually. Srila mm -hmm. Saraswati Thakur told this to Sila Siddhar Maharaj. When he thought that he did some offense, by unknowingly, you know, he did installation of the deity, which is supposed to be done by Saraswati Thakur. Uh, then he told, oh, a surrendered soul has no offense. The Lord does not consider the offense of the surrendered soul. So you may be doing some offenses, uh, but you are surrendered, then those are not considered. But you are doing everything carefully, but not surrendered. There's still there will be offense. Like that. A small mistake will be a big mistake, because of lack of surrender. Sasa Thakur told those who surrender, there is no offense. Like a baby. A baby is uh, kicking father and mother, I and mean, they're holding. Are they thinking that baby is kicking me? <laughs> they're not thinking like that. The baby is surrendered to the parents. But uh, if uh, there is some fight between the children and the parent, or the son and the parent, and the son does small thing, they become very much, you know, uh, felt hot, like that. So, saranagat, saranagat means the surrender, so they will not do any offense. So, name means, chanting means, first thing is necessary that we surrender. When we come to Guru, we offer Dandavar first. <laughs> Dandavar means I'm surrender. Acharya used to say, uh, the sadhu may hold a knife and he may cut it, chop your body. <laughs> he may do anything he likes. And you are given yourself. 
So you have to be coming like that. Not that, you know, I will think, oh, this is the offense I have to avoid, that is the offense I have to avoid, this offense I have to avoid. You will never be able to be overcome that offense like that. You cannot do that by like that. That is not possible like that. But when you engage under, you know, with, with, you know, like surrender under salvo, gradually uh, your offensive attitude, your defects will be uh, eliminated gradually. Your bad habits will be eliminated. You know, serve under that bhajan. So bhajan, anarth, nivruti will happen. But by our own effort, we cannot do that. Mayare, koriya, joy, chalamana, jai, sadhu, kripa, vina, nahi, ko, upa. By winning over Maya, this is not possible. There is no way. Only one way, that is the mercy of the sadhu. Mercy of the sadhu means he engages in the service. So I am not qualified. I have, you know, I am full of offenses. Even those who are doing name proper, they think like that. Like uh, Srila Puri Maharaj always used, used to sing, Amara Jivana Sada Papera My life is full of offenses. That is the thing, you know, we cannot just say that, oh, yes, I'm progressing from the offense name to saddle name and to the name proper. Hmm, that means <coughs> service, uh, even we cannot say that we are doing service. Sila Puri Maharaj, when he was in uh, with you know, Sila Siddhar Maharaj in Navadi, <laughs> I told you he was breaking some bricks uh, and making piling of those bricks in half, half bricks, you know, the thrown away bricks. And when somebody asks him, what are you doing this? And he's saying, I'm practicing karma yoga. He was not told that he's doing seva. Practicing some karma yoga. So we cannot claim that we are doing any service. Service means proper mood, proper attitude is necessary. So chanting also the proper mood. Habagrahi Janardhan. Krishna eats the mood. He not eat our, you know, um, pani or, you know, Pija, what is that? Tort tortilla, right? What do you make, Krishna Kesa Prabhu? Tortilla. <laughs> you, you need to use tortilla to make quesadilla. <laughs> quesadilla, okay. <laughs> okay. So that, uh, Krishna is not eating those things. He is eating, you know, what, how we are preparing that, what attitude. So that is the most important thing. So, Chanting, chanting with the proper mood is the most important. The Gurudev will be very happy uh, that he given this service to me and for his satisfaction I'm doing that. Even though I'm not qualified, but he's kind enough uh, that he's given me this service, then I must try to do that sincerely. Jogyata vichare kichunahi pai tumara korunasa. If I consider qualification, I have none. Your mercy is that. So we always knock the mercy department, not the qualification department. If we knock there, then we will be disqualified. So you have to be um, knocking the mercy, Nityananda Prabhu. Devotees, they are very merciful. They will forgive our uh, all mistakes. <laughs> and they will, uh, uh, what you can say, uh, useless. Object also, they can make it somehow useful for the service of the Lord. Kakke gorud kore. I used to say, crow can become a goruda by the grace of a devotee. Kakke gorud kore. And crow can become a goruda by the grace of a devotee. Possible. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that, Maharaj. Much appreciated. Um, Krishna Krishna Prabhu, uh, if you would like, you can if you also want to Krishna Maharaj. All the devotees already have had their turn, so. Hi. Pranavatanam to all the devotees. Um, well, like Maharaj was saying, uh, I'm not speaking from any kind of qualification to speak. Because uh, I don't have that, but by the mercy of the devotees, uh, I'm being asked to say something, so then I can say something by their mercy. Um, I think that the glories of Srila Bhakti in this Kamshanta Maharaj, to say anything, I have to start with Srila 
Bhakti Vinod Thakur in Orisha, Jagannath Puri Dham. How in our modern day, he completely uh, brought the conception of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to light in India. And then he gave the world a son, Bimal Prashad, who became Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada, who spread those glories of Mahaprabhu throughout all of India. And he's having so many uh, glorious disciples, two of which are very relevant to all of our practicing lives. Um, Om Vishnu Pachula Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj and Om Vishnu Pachula AC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. Um, so we're by the grace of the Lord, these uh, connections, heart to heart connections are coming down from the Lord through his devotees to us. Um, we know that Srila Sridhar Maharaj was named uh, Rakshak Sridhar Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar the stalwart guardian of the current of pure devotion. And he continued to represent that pure conception that Bhakti Vinod Thakur had brought to light and that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada spread throughout India. Srila Sridhar Maharaj maintained that conception and all of his, many of his God brothers uh, could understand that he was exactly that. Um, that is why Srila Prabhupada, AC Bhakti Vinod Swami Prabhupada called him his Siksha Guru and he directed all of his disciples to take some instruction from him after Prabhupada's disappearance. So then more heart-to-heart -heart connections are coming from Bhakti Vedanta Prabhupada's disciples, such as um, Sripad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj. He was first instructed by Prabhupada to cooperate with Bhakti Sukdamadar Maharaj in the scientific Sankirtan and Srila Puri Maharaj took that instruction on his head and uh, was always assisting Subdhamadar Maharaj through that surrender to the instruction of his guru. Uh, some affection came from other devotees who also had respect for Subdhamadar Maharaj. Um, Bhakti Chipad Bhakti Charu Swami, who at that time was going to Srila Sridhar Maharaj based on the in initial instruction of Prabhupada to go to Sridhar Maharaj. And then because Sri Puri Maharaj had that uh, affectionate relation with Sri Damodar Maharaj, and so did Charu Swami, then Charu Swami took Sri Puri Maharaj to Srila Sridhar Maharaj. And there he met Srila Govinda Maharaj and eventually received um, sannyas initiation. And through his love and uh, loyalty to, to that stream of hearts that are coming down from Gauranga Mahaprabhu, then uh, after the disappearance of Bhakti Subhamadar Maharaj, uh, two of his disciples, uh, Sushen Krishna Das and Purushottam Jagannath Das came, listening to their guru's instructions, Bhakti Subhamadar, he's saying, go take instruction and siksha from Sri Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj. They listened, continuing their own surrendered path to the pure hearts of the devotees and are coming to Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj. And he's instructing them in scientific Sankirtan and saying, you must go and uh, you must take shelter of Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj. And, and continuing service like that, then after Srila Govinda Maharaj, Srila Om Vishnu Paj, Srila Bhakti Nirmalachari Dev Goswami Maharaj, and they're taking sannyas initiation from him. And now today, they are continuing that uh, path of surrender and service to that flow of hearts, the Rupa Nuga Dara, and continuing to represent that pure conception, not based on only preaching from a intellectual point of view, but practicing, seeing through their achar, their uh, livelihood, their actions. So uh, all I can say is like that of Srila Bhakti Nishkam Shanta Maharaj, and I pay my humble dhanava pranam to his lotus feet, and all to the devotees also. Jai Krishna Kesava Prabhu Ki Jai. Krishna Kesava Prabhu, he had you know very nice visit to India <laughs> and uh, had a, a very nice association here and he went to village preachings. 
और ये ताजा जो भर रहा है how many villages you went isne kya jhopro i just to hugli to hugli yeah which place in hugli uh many many devotees houses maybe five six different houses okay how many hugli devotees are coming here acharya maharaj did lot of preaching there in hugli yes. they are all in you know, here and they are coming tomorrow already now we have like uh, 70 80 devotees and then more will be coming tomorrow and day after tomorrow will be more the festival day so krishna keshav prabhu is doing lot of service there he is like alone running the institute and cooking uh, and also collecting <laughs> and the prasad distribution and also website and so many things i am seeing this is the some special grace of the lord and the grace of puri maharaj that he could do so much services and uh, lachaj maharaj used to also like him so much <laughs> and he told he told to him on the initiation day if you serve puri maharaj then that is my happiness <laughs> he told like that he would listen that video a nice i see like what govinda maharaj told you know some devotees asked uh, to govinda maharaj and uh, you know they came through me some south indian devotees preaching and they were also doing some service uh, under me to puri maharaj and he told oh, we are serving like this you know uh, you know is uh, under uh, at that time i was susen <laughs> susen prabhu and uh, you know serving to puri maharaj like that then govinda maharaj told oh, service to puri maharaj is my service told like that so there cannot be any difference between madhava madhusudana and uh, all this you know different names of the lord huh? guru can come in infinite of the forms shila sidha maharaj says we have we can see that properly that the function of the guru then we not be attached to only form huh? we are attached to not the devotee of the photo so let's see the maharaj used to say don't become a disciple of the photo you are the disciple of the conception that is the most important thing we can catch the conception and then we have the huh? we become proper disciple not just by mala mala disciple and mala guru i say <laughs> somebody somebody wrote and when i told that uh, then somebody told who, who in our mission is malak guru and <laughs> like that like that they are not able to notice what i am saying so <clears throat> guru means he, he comes with a proper you know some particular kind of mood of service then if he can catch that mood then we have the grace of Oh, that question. That mood of service that is the most important. So he is always engaging uh, that mood in service, and if we can also get that, and that will be our benefit, then we will go out of all misconceptions. Guru comes to teach us, or maybe they are higher and you know higher level of teachers, but they are all you know gurus. Uh, we learn the same fluid mechanics I learned during my graduation. and also master time i learned the same fluid mechanics and phd also but the uh, the level of understanding was different the same subject similarly guru also uh, can come in higher and higher forms to guide us to higher and higher platform but we must honor all those personalities <clears throat> we we ignore nitya on the prabhu and only appreciate mahapu and it is like half chicken logic or even only nitananda and no mahaprabhu that is also not proper you have to honor both so like that we have to see how lord is helping us in infinite of direction if we are ready to accept that help we are ready so let us say mara say any direction help may come if something proper is told by ramanuja uh, devotee then we have must also accept that huh? when a blade of grass is something we cannot ignore that oh not belongs to sri chaitanya saraswat mat blade of grass does not belong to sri chaitanya saraswat mat and i why why must listen to that humility that is spread by blade of grass 
Three dollar belongs to Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Mat. And I must, why should I? No, we don't see like that. We are not the servants of any particular organization or mission. Ultimately, we have to cultivate our Krishna consciousness, go above all other identities. So Krishna consciousness is the all in all. So many organizations, they may come in this world time and again. Rupa Goswami established one organization and then other acharyas established by the necessity of this world. But that is not something to a barrier to you know neglect Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness must be the given prime importance. And wherever that is, we see you know, properly manifesting, then we must go down there. And that, that should be the mood. I asked uh, Silapuri Maharaj uh, in the cell days, then why <coughs> Sila Prabhupada sometimes forbidden some of uh, Mm, his disciples should not meet his God brothers. Forbidden. That Purimara told when babies have not grown up, grown up, then in the, the house, then parents say, Oh, don't go out, don't go out. They say, Don't go out. <laughs> they say like that. But when, when babies grown, then they understand what is, you know, uh, their proper for them, what is not. Then parents are not so much worried. Huh? So when we are not so proper, mature enough, and when we may be misguided. Uh, that's why sometimes uh, Guru said, as I say, oh, don't go uh, here or there. Then they say like that. But when you have hmm, developed properly, proper thing, then uh, you can take the good from everywhere. Actually. You can take the good from everywhere. <clears throat> we should not be afraid. <laughs> not go there. <laughs> not go here. No. From Ramanuja mission also, we can take something good. From Vishnu Swami, so many, uh, even from Newton. Lasidhar <laughs> Maharaj used to quote from Newton. He recognized his insignificance. Uh, <laughs> even people not recognize that much. At least I recognize that much. Uh, Newton thought, I'm only collected a few pebbles. He said like that. So that good thing we can see everywhere. Thank you very much for all of your good association and encouragement. I appreciate it very much. And looking forward to have all of your association after tomorrow during uh, Guru Dev's Jas Puja. And I also wish all of you to have very glorious, sweet Jas Puja celebration at your places. Please do uh, uh, celebrate very nicely uh, as you can and do that. That will be very nice. Don't know all of you. Once I call Pataru, I said, keep asking for you. What's about it? I'm not having a question. Thank you for your wonderful mission and your inspirational talk. Always appreciating it. Always uh, looking forward to seeing you again. So, um, nine o'clock your time, Anna? India time it will be nine o'clock. That's right. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. 9 a.m. India time on Tuesday, the Divine Appearance Festival of Pongish Pachila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj. You all can also uh, give some offering by some PowerPoint presentation of your whatever you like to do, but five, don't make it bigger. Maybe five minutes, ten minutes, like that maximum. Do remember that I have to translate also, where many Bengalis are there. So speak slowly. Sometimes this audio is some problem here, yeah, you know. Muni Maharaj also was having you know, a hard time and I also have because of the sound problem. So it does not come, you know. It sounds like brum, 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 brum. Some sound comes. <laughs> you cannot understand. <laughs> the audio system is not so good. But they, you know, connect. But anyway, I am looking forward to have all of your association. I don't know what. Jai. Jai.